what you say. Sometimes, sometimes I feel... I understand your feelings. You perceive I might lose you No, somewhere. don't say that. You see, a woman's mind is an ocean of a deep secret. For you to have said this, I now understand how truly you feel, honey. I will always be with you. I will always sleep with you, wake up with you, and uh, look at you. Don't look at yourself. How many times have I wanted to leave this lot alone? The one was just buried last week. And yet you are disgusting yourself with this idiot. Auntie, please. Please, please Auntie. What? Shut up, big mouth, before I shut it for you. Yeah, it's... As for you, Harriet. I finish with you. You, you are still there. I love him. You love him. I knew this hard. I just so, don't know. Auntie, please, don't say it. Auntie, why are you doing this now? What is going to your own? What is your problem? Oh, 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 Auntie, what is it? Don't, don't have the right to, to have friends in my house. You. Why are you embarrassing my guests? Look who is talking. Auntie, please, I'm old enough to take care of myself. Please. Oh, indeed. It's very my back. He's upstairs where he left it. Good morning. Yes, very sad with you. about time I try to pick up the threads again. I'll be going back to Abuja tomorrow to continue the construction work we're doing there. Uh, but there is one thing I'd like you to do for me. What is it, sir? My son, Ejike. Uh, I want you to keep an eye on him. He's really a baby, if you know what I mean. Uh, there are a tendency on his part to be very exuberant. Uh, I want you to advise him occasionally while I'm away and ensure that he does not go astray. Hmm? Uh -huh. You know, um, on both sides, you can pass for my closest relation now. Yes. My wife, your sister, while she was alive, you were her constant companion. Yes. And this is why I am entrusting the upkeep and guidance of my son to you. Well, the upkeep of the entire house. Hmm? Uh, can you do that for me? I will. Thank you, Chief. I feel very honored and privileged that you have entrusted me with Edgy Health's welfare. It's an honor. And I promise you I will not fail you. Thank you. Thank you. Edgy Edgy Yes, Daddy. Please come. As I told you last night, I'll be leaving for Abuja tomorrow. I have made funds available for your up, for your needs while I'm away. Um, if there's anything you like to discuss or purchase at the case may be, uh, talk it over with Doris. Hmm? Um, Endeavor not to keep late nights. Okay, Daddy. Um, but Daddy, um, when are you going to be back? Mm, when I project, I'll be in Abuja for 
10 days, at most two weeks. Yes. Um, as things are now, I can't afford to stay out for too long, so we I come in and we go. Hmm? Now, thank you very much. It's all right. Daddy, I must confess you're looking young these days. <laughs> Well, um, open now. He's all right. He's going back to school. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind about daddy. He's always thinking I'm a baby. And it's your one. Uh, my, wow, auntie, please, please, please. <laughs> How can you have a baby? A fool man like me. I mean, <laughs> it's fancy. Yeah. You didn't go to work today? No, I'm off today. Okay, you're off. This is my work now, wow. <laughs> Caroline, of course. Caroline or Oka? Oka from Izama village. I have one. Caroline is the daughter of her late friend, Teresa. Rose, you mean to tell me that Carolina is the daughter of her late friend, Teresa? Yes, of course. But, tell me, are you saying it is all a rumor? Eh? My dear, I think it's a rumor. Because I'm not head of any plans of marriage. And it's not at the moment. <laughs> okay. How is Chief? Chief is just trying to get over the wife's death. Good. Are you telling me that Helen is dead? Uh, you have a head. My, I my sister is gone. Oh my God. You have killed her. Just a very minor ill health. Just like that. Good morning, Auntie. Good morning, Madam. Madam, how are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Take care of him for me, okay? Oh, yeah. See you later. Yeah. Auntie, thank you very much. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. Thank you. I'm going to take a lap. A 
GK. I summoned you to my office this afternoon for a very important reason. Very important reason. You are aware that your father has had very poor health even before your mother's death. Yes, doctor. Repeated heart attacks have rendered his heart very weak. He came for his normal checkup last week. The results are something I could not discuss with him until I had discussed first with you. Doctor, what are the results? According to the ethics of the medical profession, there are certain results, certain conditions of patients that are discussed first with the patients next of kin before they are disclosed to the patients. The disclosure depends on whether the next of kin consents or not. You are Tiparaka son. His next of kin, educate. Yes, doctor. Therefore, the onus lies on you to decide. Doctor, but what is what is wrong with my father? Don't you, talk to me. What is exactly wrong with my father? You are self educate. You are a man now. Your father's last heart attack left him a very weak man. It left him a shadow of his old self. He does not have a very long time to leave HK. Doctor, how long does he have? In two years or less, he will die from cardiac arrest. That's what the most recent checkup results show. You are in my office this afternoon to make a decision. Doctor, please, you have to help my father. Doctor, I can't afford to lose him now. I can't, but you have to help me. I can do very little, my dear. God. God. Doctor, what are the options? You can inform him of the situation, or we will withhold the information from him. He will continue to receive his uh, drug medication under both options. What are the implications? Well, if we inform him, that will reduce his chances drastically. Maybe for about just a year. But if it is with help, he could live well into the second year, or maybe even begin to recover. My God. You will have to admit that the probability chances are nearly zero. Doctor, this is a difficult decision. I understand, my boy. We do not have to decide immediately. Maybe you might like to go and take over it. Doctor, I have to give my father a chance to leave. No matter how slim that chance is. Doctor, please, we will withhold the results from him. I can't, I can't afford to lose him. I can't. Your school is in for the new time. It started last week. Ah, last week. So is Auntie in? Auntie well for now. She she's not back yet. Come She'll be back soon. Yes, Auntie. So why are you not in school? They sent us home. They sent you home. 
Why? It's because we have not paid our school fees. But your school just started. Yes, brother. If you get the money now, will they allow you back into class? They will, brother. So how much is the money? One thousand naira. A thousand naira. Thank you, brother. Ah, you're welcome. Um, go back to school, okay? Mm -hmm. And make sure you go to school straight. Don't branch anywhere. Uh-uh. Uh, uh, so, what are you doing at home? Auntie, they sent us home because we have not paid our school fees. But but Deutsch has given me the money. Uh-oh, AG, what is she just telling me? Auntie, nothing. <laughs> not the usual stuff. So, I'll just say thank you. Yes, Auntie. Okay, you can go to school, okay? Bye-bye. Auntie, let's go inside. I'll do our breakfast. Yes, Auntie. Where? And who gave you? I managed to prepare myself. Eh, what? What would the food have tasted like? <laughs> no, are you okay? Yes, Auntie. Let's go. Well, that means all right. to me. My father will die in the next two years. What? And you get a no! Why? And you get why? What is wrong with him? What did he say? Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, Are you coming from uh, Educate's place? Yes, I went to give him his food, but he's not at home. All right. My pleasure, Yes. Please, can I be coming to your house and play your video game with your sister, Mommy? I'm sorry, my dear. But uh, Norma has traveled yesterday to my uncle's place in Kano. All right. But can you play the game on your own? Yes, brother, Sati. Then no problem. You can be coming to play on your own until your mama comes back from Canada. Thank you, brother Zadi. You're Bye. welcome. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yes, I uh, finished what I went for yesterday, so I thought I should come back today. What are you doing? Oh, Dad, I'm cooking. Ah, Dad, please. The plantain is burning. Please. Please. <laughs> it's cooking plantain. <laughs> I thought it was frying it. All right, I'll eat it. <laughs> So, Chief, I just sent the 
result of your latest checkup to you this evening. Alright. Okay. Welcome back into the Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Chief? Yeah. Remember, more rest. Okay, let's walk. I won't forget it. Yeah. Thanks, Doug. Bye. <laughs> Behavior. Just that one small detail bothers me about all the arrangements we've made for him so far. And what is it? KHK needs to get a wife. Honestly, <laughs> he's old enough to. Uh, well, I agree with you that he's old enough to get married, but uh, there are two factors that must be taken into consideration before somebody settles down with a woman and his wife. First is the physical maturity and the other psychological maturity. He is not yet psychologically fit for marriage. No, I don't agree with you. He is. Uh, well, he may have all that to you, but uh, I am not yet satisfied. He even needs a wife. He needs a woman that will present me there all the time. To take care of him and his needs. Not always there. You know, this job is very demanding. I agree with you that you are not always there. But you see, the HK has just graduated. He requires at least two years of working experience to stand on his own as a man. Let him work. Earn some money. Learn to be a man. I don't want him to get married. Tomorrow he becomes parasitically dependent on me as his father. I want him to marry as a man. As a matter of fact, I'm considering a totally new idea altogether. An idea? Please, can I know what the idea is about? Uh, I'll tell you when the time comes. <laughs> I will. Uh, I came home from Abuja with a few favorite items of yours, like uh, your favorite biscuit. Do you have this later? Auntie, I just don't like the idea. How can my father start thinking of getting married at this, uh, at this age? Considering his, uh, the condition of his health, you know how bad his health has been. And I don't want anyone that will come into this family now and, and become a burden to me. Listen, AGK, this is things just said now are the reasons he should get married. Your father is terminally ill and we need continuous attention as time passes and his health deteriorates. AGK, you have your own commitments and aspirations. You won't always be there for him. Please to take care of him. Now tell me, AGK. Would you want to leave your father at the care of a paid worker? Or talk, think of taking him to the old people's home? Auntie, please, how can you start thinking of that? There you are. Ejika, you have no choice in this matter. I understand your reservations about bringing in a new person at this point into the family. But I can assure you there are more agreeable women around. Or will you want to jeopardize your father's welfare at your, because of personal discomfort? Well, Auntie, don't tell me you're supporting that. Sure, I am, 100%. Immediately your father said that I knew it was the best thing to do. No doubt about that. Even when the woman comes in, she will also be there for you. Let's take care of you. Auntie, I don't want my father's wife to take care of me. Please. Oh, Mr. Independence. 
The other day you almost burned down the house with your lousy cooking. I can't go for myself. Let's allow him to do it. It will be for you and for him. He needs it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. It's a you want test. You want. Is that like it? Oh, you don't want to be like a lion now. Is a lady B. You don't mind him. Sudhat, there's this new development in my house. What new development? You guys won't believe it if I tell you. Tell us. <laughs> Girl. Come on. Oh yeah. my God. You <laughs> see, it's, it's really funny. Can you imagine that my father wants to marry a new wife at this age? <laughs> what the? Uh -huh. So? That's a nice one. Nice? <laughs> oh, Eja again. So, you still cannot tell a wise move when you see one. Yeah, it's a, just get to the point, okay? It is all in your interest, my friend. Of course, the old man has almost no need for a woman now, except for someone to serve as a constant companion and helper. The ultimate beneficiary then becomes you, Ejike. Is that still don't get the idea? <laughs> I said, he still doesn't get it. <laughs> Look, Ejike, this marriage is in your interest. This new wife will take very good care of you and also keep the house. In fact, she will lighten up the entire place once more. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will have less commitments in the house. And of course, be fair to live an independent life. Yeah, you're right there. But there is this... There is still one part I don't like. Mindy taking good care of yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> taking good care of yourself. Oh, come on, it's okay, it's okay. You're very good care of yourself. <laughs> no, honey, you'll be there to take care of yourself. Of course, I'll be there, but you know what I'm talking Shut about. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't run away from me. Uh, uh, <laughs> So what I mean is um, you will have to recommend the woman I'll marry so that when she comes in <clears throat> you have some understanding because most of the time she'll be staying here with you. There'll be a smooth relationship between both of you. Um, she'll be keeping you company one and two. She'll be responsible for all the domestic chores. Uh, I hope you understand me. But, but Daddy, I, I... Look, try to understand me. Uh, we are going to be married only nominally. It's not my intention to consummate the relationship. Most of the time, I'll be away on my business tours and she's going to be your company in the house. A smooth relationship. You know what women are. Um, if you don't understand her, you are a child from a previous relationship. So there's bound to be some abrasive relationship if she's totally strange to you. But if there is understanding there, come on. When I'm away, I don't have to bother whether there's a peace in my heart because there will be peace. I think I'm beginning to understand you, Dad. Beautiful. Um, I don't know where you bought this palm wine from them. <laughs> I know you would like it, Dad. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Should I not get your food? Now that I have a fine appetite, yes, you can. Okay, Dad. <laughs>
Thank you very much. So that was what he said. Your father is a very wise man. Auntie, please, how can you say that? I was getting used to the fact that my father wants to marry a new wife. Then he comes with a new shock. But AJK is making the whole thing easier for you. Auntie, please. Do you know that I don't even have the slightest idea of whom to... to is it to recommend? To recommend, Auntie. No, Auntie, why are you laughing at me? I'm very serious. I'm not laughing at you. Is your own ease that I find amusing? Okay, now, good, Auntie. Tell me, who am I supposed to recommend to him? Who am I going to recommend to him now? Very easy. She's right there in front of you. Who, Auntie? Carolina, of course. Yes. What? Auntie, do you honestly think I do not have the intention to get married to Carol? Eddie, you are the one who should clarify the issues. Are you not planning to marry that girl? Of course you know I do. Then what are you waiting for? It is terribly unfortunate that your father does not have very long to leave. He will only perform the traditional marriage rites and should become his companion. Nothing else. By the time he moves to the great beyond, you go ahead and marry her. Everything is comfortable. This is crazy. This is crazy. How can I recommend my own... No, no. No, this is... My own fiancé to my father to get married to. No, I think this whole thing sounds so absurd. Please, forget that one. It is only in the mind. You told me the other day that you don't want a burden. But this, that is cut off. As soon as your father eventual transition, she'll be back from being his wife to yours. And there is no widow to take into consideration. Perfect. Now, Auntie. Yeah? This whole idea is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. AJK, it is a very neat one. Very comfortable plan. Now, Auntie Tammy, do you know that? How is she going to think this? Auntie, I can't even summon the courage to... How do I relate these crazy plans to her? How do I? You don't need to worry yourself. Just send her over to me. I know how to present it to her. You don't have any problems with that. Okay? <laughs> Okay, now. My dear, I sent for you. And I have a very important matter to discuss with you. But first of all, you must tell me the truth. Do you truly love AJK? Okay. I do not really love AJK, but rather, he is the center of my whole world. All my emotions, my feelings are, are so much that I can't even explain them. That is good. Are you prepared to marry him? Have you, have you turned out your mind towards that? To be honest, Auntie Doris, I've seen women who love men with an all towards commitment. But I just love AJK for who he is. And I'm looking forward to that one day I shall be in his arm as his wife and tell him how much I love him. That means AJK, my son, is a very lucky man. But have you heard that his father wants to get married? Yes, I've heard this. And he mandated AJK to find him a wife. He told me that. After all that, whatever, I came to the conclusion that you're the best person to present to the man as the wife. Me? Yes, of course. It's the reason. Listen, listen first before you jump into conclusions. Educate's father is terminally ill. He has two years or less to live. This is a closely guarded family secret. The man himself doesn't even know yet. Carolina, my dear. Yes, All we want to put forward for AJK's father to marry is a very good woman who will be ready to be committed to AJK at the same time serve as his father's companion during this last few years of his life. 
as soon as the man dies, she will revert to become an educated wife. Like this, the family structure remains the same. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't worry yourself. The moment you come in as Steve Araka's wife, you're already entrenched into the family circle. And become Ejike's wife in the waiting. In the fullness of time, Ejike, my son, will become yours. But if you say no, we begin to look for another. But remember, that will actually knock you off the picture as Ejike's potential wife. That is true. But the idea. Oh, God. Please, Auntie Doris, what is HGK saying about this? Don't worry about HGK. It's very, very comfortable with the arrangement. Comfortable? Yes. I get married to my own bride before me. Yes, I agreed. He's not going to take her to the altar. Should I continue to look for a wife for my father? Another woman? How am I sure that that woman? Will not bring problems into this family. Yeah, at least I know Lena. She's a very good girl. Yeah. I know Lena can take care of my father when his health wasn't. Come to think of it. Wouldn't I be the one that would spend more of the time with Nina in this house? My God. Is it my father or is it I used to say that most good ideas look repulsive at first sight? Yeah, I'm beginning to understand. Two years. God, what a long wait. Does it have to be like this? But Auntie Doris is right. The man has a serious health problem. Hmm. I'll just be there as a former wife and a companion to him. AGK will be spending more time with me now. I want him. Oh God, I so much love that boy. I so much love him. I can't even afford to lose him. AGK, I'm doing this all for you. All for you. Jesus. Do that I require a wife. <laughs> <laughs> 
such a thing. She's now my father's lovely wedded wife according to tradition. So she's out of bounds for me. Come on. <clears throat> Are you trying to say that if she approaches you now, you will do nothing with her? <laughs> God forbid. Are you out of your mind? Did it ever cross your mind that I would do such a thing with my own father's wife? Ah, never, I won't do that. So, when did you travel? Well, um, the old man traveled the day before yesterday. Oh, you didn't start a work at the office? Yes. Delicious. Hey, our wife. You don't start work with that, you know. Yeah, welcome. Uh, Thank you, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Are you? No problem. Oh, enjoy yourself. Thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lydia, thanks for the food. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Room. But Lena, you have been sleeping there for the past two months. How come it's suddenly different now? It feels too big with just two people in the house now. Okay, okay, I understand what you mean. Um, you know what we are going to do now? You move into my room, which is smaller. Okay, you sleep there. 
while I, I sleep here in the living room. Oh, no, no, please. You know, what is all no again now? It's time we face the facts, my love. You know, the reason I'm in your father's house is you. I don't want to pretend any longer. How do you expect me to endure this when we're together and yet we're not together? Lena, please, I beg you in the name of God, don't even go there, please. Why not? What do you want from me, my love? Do you want me to stop all my emotions, my desires, and not be able to tell you right now how much, how much I miss you? How much I want to hold you? Feel your close, your body next to mine. How much I long to be with you? How much I want to feel your body close to mine? Oh, Lina, please stop. Lina, please stop. You are now my father's wife, for Christ's sake, please. Oh, but EGK, you didn't make it clear to me that that would change things this drastically. Nina, do I need to spell everything out? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Okay, hey, please, can you call me now, please? Nina, please. Please, I am sorry. I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you too. Oh. Oh, please stop them right now. I order you as a stepmother. I'm sorry, stepmother. It won't work. Come back here before I lose my temper. <laughs> you won't lose your temper, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you to please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please come back. I'm sorry, please. Please, will you stop running away from me? I'm not running away from you. I'm here. Then come right there. No, please. I'm okay here, yeah, please. Okay. Alright, um, I'll go into my room and get my pillow and other sleeping things and I'll come back right here and we'll sleep together. That means okay? I'll sleep as well. Just do what I ask you to do. Go in there, pick your things, sleep there while I sleep here in the living room. For AJ Casey. Is he at home? Oh, he has just gone to work. Uh, 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 may I know you, please? Um, I am Amara Messiani. I and AJK are actually close friends. Interesting. But I haven't met you before. <laughs> Might know you too. Oh, pick no offense, my dear. But save the question for AJK. When you see him, ask him about me. He should be in the right position to tell you that. 
No offense taken, madam. I'm sorry. sorry. You're welcome. I have to go. Okay. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Will be for 12 noon. Exactly. There's the, 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 the our client will come in um, here by 11 30. They should be there. I'll be there immediately. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. And the next, um, let's say um, 20 minutes, 20 30 minutes. I'll be there. Okay, no worries. Hello, come on in. Oh, sweetheart. Good morning, dear. Um, you can read here this morning. Make yourself comfortable. So, how are you? I'm okay. I decided to check on you in the house on my way to work. My house? Yes, your house. So, who did you see there? There was this lovely young lady I met. Very pleasant woman. What did she tell you? Nothing. She just told me I had gone to work. Okay. And tell me, who is she? You didn't ask her? I did, but she said I should ask you. What? Yes, that's that's what she said. Who is she? Well, um, she's um, Caroline. My father's new wife. My father's wife? Yeah. Just that. Hey, come on, sweetheart. Haven't you asked enough questions for the day? <laughs> I mean, I'm just being curious. I think I like her. You like her? Yeah. Mm. You like everything. <laughs> everything associated with you. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what? Have an agent to attend, okay? The next. Let me just take you back to your office, then I dash to the meeting. I'm already late, okay? Let me just pick a file and then we rush off. Exactly. Yeah, I'll tell you. night in a row. We are coming back by this time. Last week you were missing out on most nights and this week you don't come home at all. What's happening? Listen Caroline, I don't have to account to you for every movement I make. I do not need this restraint from you trying to hold me down. I've been working my right now. I need to get to the top of my job. Do you have a problem with that? No, I'm sorry. Good. You know, I would be the last person to hold you down from your success. It's just that your late nights, your constant absence, your neglected food that I have to throw in the trash on most mornings these days. They all, they're all getting to me, don't you understand? Okay, I'm very, very sorry. Okay. Yeah. But Please, um, try to reason with me, okay? You know, it's because of you, that's why I'm here. What have I done to deserve this treatment? You abandoned me in this house 
for days on end, and, and yet you are in town. Karen, listen, I am very, very sorry, okay? I was late because I was with Eze. I, I, that was this important thing we were discussing, okay? That was why I, it took me so late. Well, he's, he also sends his regards. How is he then? Well, very well. He's all right. What you care? Please, come on. Just a hug. That wouldn't kill us, you know. Just to show your remorse, please. Listen, Lena. You know that I can't account for the rest of my actions this morning if I hug you. And you know what? What? I won't be going to work tomorrow. I mean, today. I'll be home for all so that we have time to talk, okay? Oh my God, that's wonderful. Oh! <laughs> uh, it's so much. It's wonderful. So happy. And um, you know what? Before the day breaks, I'll go to the supermarket and buy something for so that we'll have a big, big breakfast, okay? Well, great idea. Yeah, great idea. Great idea. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much, okay? Good night, my love. Good night. Sleep well. Yeah, I will. I will. Um, see good you night. Good night. Evening this morning. Okay. What's up? I'm okay. I thank God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. How is everything? No problem. What about uh, EJK? EJK, he's fine. fine. I haven't seen him now for days on end. What? Is he in town? Um. Yeah. He is. He's in town. Okay. Please tell him to try and check me. Yeah. Huh? All right. We have All a, right. Lot of, a lot of important things to discuss. It's and he okay. Knows it. It's okay. I'll tell him. But let me rush him. Okay. okay. I'll tell him. Yeah. Bye. -bye. All right, bye. He was with him last night. Do you know you have audacity? Too much audacity. Audacity? Does it require any audacity to visit a man in his own father's house? After the man in question here had told you not to pay the visit? It's a question of desire, not audacity. The desire of the woman in question to see the man in question. Oops. <laughs> Congratulations, Madam Desire. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Araka. Good morning. I'm joking. Oh, no, no, please. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. All right. Okay.
AGK. What's going on? N nothing. But you look ill at ease. Come on, I'm okay. Nothing. Can you imagine? He has started lying to me. I can't endure it anymore. And she's still there. I mean, right now. It's okay. It's all right, okay? It's not all right, Auntie. It's, it's not all right. It's not. I'm always there for him, but, but she drags him out from home. Okay. He decides to stay at home today, but she comes in and occupies him again. It's okay. Your maturity in this issue is something even I would have to bust about. But you have to understand something. What is it? The, listen, the love you and education is an untouchable thing. It is a constant thing. I know he deeply loves you very much. But you see, men have to amuse themselves once in a while with other women. Don't worry yourself. She's just an object of as an interest, okay? Don't need to worry yourself. It's for you. So, let's go. At a point, I wondered if you were no longer interested in buying up the shares that my company had on offer. Nah, it's like, how can you say something? It's not that. I've been occupied. That's just the problem. Occupied? Yes. With what? With my work, of course. Educate. This really must be something else. <laughs> something that has kept you away from even myself for this length of time. Exactly. I understand, you see. Okay. Exactly. I must confess. I think I'm beginning to spend more time with Amala. Amala? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking? <laughs> uh, but do you know what? She's small. That girl is dangerously and deeply in love with me. She's all over town with me. In the office, at home, everywhere, all around town. At home? I am telling you. <laughs> Has she met Lena? You can bet your life on that. <laughs> so, what did Lena do? Girls. Did Lena scold her? Did she criticize her? No. Did she insult her? Not at all. Did Lena beat her up? No. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> what? She did absolutely nothing. Lena did nothing to her. Bridget, <laughs> that is the worst. You need to watch that girl. <laughs> you need to watch her. Don't worry. That is the worst. I'm in control. The master has spoken. <laughs> it's better to take it by precaution. I'll tell you, man. I'll tell you. Don't worry. I'm the master himself, man. Watch out. Watch out. Everything is taking. Okay. Okay. I said I do not know. But tell me, why are you following that boy that is fly after a cake of palm wine? Madam. Why are you constituting yourself a nuisance? Or should I spell it out for you? In black and white that you're not welcome in this house? 
House on my account. Is that understood? Educate. Tell me, why are you deluding yourself with other women? Why? sent me the results of the medical examination I had in the hospital yesterday. Uh, Dad, what is the outcome of the result? Well, you know, doctors and their equivocation, um, in some sense it's uh, inconclusive, in another, not too good. It makes me understand that my heart condition is worsening and that uh, if I did not slow down my pace of work, I just might be dead in the uh, next few years. Um, Dad, um, what have you decided? I, I think it's, it's, it's better you, you take the doctor's advice. Well, um, <laughs> we all know that death is inevitable. Uh, so that we're all concerned. Uh, there is nobody out there who would like to die. So, I take the doctor's advice. Um, I'll slow down my piece of work, yeah. And see if I can hang up for quite some time. Uh, honey, you're not looking too bright. What's wrong? Anything the matter? Um, darling, I'm just worried about your health. <laughs> Doctors did not create life, so the fact that a doctor has said it does not in any way mean that uh, that's my destiny. God creates lives. Doctors do not create lives. Uh, sometimes their predictions are wrong, but I intend to hang on and put up a fight. <laughs> yes, all is not lost. Yes, don't be worried about it. Hmm? Look on the bright side, love. Yes, uh, yes, darling.
Ah, uh, Madam Moka. Yeah, educated. How are you? Uh, how is the family? Please, I'm so sorry. I've not been able to visit you since your mother's death. I've not been in town for a long time. Oh, no problem. Thank you very much. And who is this pretty lady with you? Uh, well, um, her name is Caroline. Uh, she's my father's new wife. Oh, that's new, right? yeah. oh, Caroline, you're so lovely, my dear. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Uh, please, uh, educate uh, Caroline. I'll see you later. Okay, oh? bye bye. Meet your father. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. I do not get that. Must you introduce to every Tom Dick and Harry that your father's wife? For Christ, she walked his drug in there, she asked, and I had to tell her. Are you not my father's wife? Let me go now. What you're doing to that girl is very bad. For a stepmother, the treatment is nothing to write home about. Couple with the fact that she has a deep relationship with you. It's this obvious that what you met out to her is nothing but horrible. Auntie, what does she want me to do? Kill myself? Auntie, please, I have my life to live. Please. You see? Hey, GK, that's just that she does spoils things. Carolina is your father's wife, underlines the relationship, the love she has for you. AGK, do not desecrate that love. If you must play games, keep it off the house. Oh, Auntie, are you insinuating that any affair I have is a game? Of course, what is it supposed to be? When you already have a wife at home. Auntie, please, please. For Christ's sake, what do you mean by that? I'm so confused. This whole situation. I'm tired of the whole situation. I don't know what to do. No. I was even afraid she would do something more drastic. And you're here killing yourself over a drum bucket full of dirty washing water. But tell me, Edgy. You do still love Carolina, don't you? Please, Mr. Zeller, you know Caroline is my father's wife now. Come on, come on, just answer my question. Yes, I, I still love her. And Amala? In an entirely different manner. Yes, I also love her. My God. How do you manage to move along with the two? Do you keep Amala off home or not? Well, I used to. But at the moment, uh, Carolan accompanied my father to Abuja to help him arrange himself in preparation for his retirement. Retirement? Yes. The doctor had uh, warned my father to slow down or expect an early death. So you see, he doesn't have any choice than to retire and come back home, you know? Is that so? Why do you keep forgetting I have videos on Friday? And why wouldn't I keep forgetting that you have um, videos on Friday when they keep depriving me of your company every Friday? It's unfair now. In fact, I, I, I will start dragging Friday in these things. Oh, no, you don't have to sound like that. It's for me. Oh, well, it's true now. When I need to stay with you, do you say you want to go to church for wanting, wanting, I don't know. It's yes, not Every day you just be doing something you want to do. Welcome back. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, daughter. Lina, good evening. Um, good evening, AGK. Good evening, Madam Carolina. Yeah. Good evening, uh, Amara. You must know each other very well. 
Oh, yes, dear. Dad. It's uh, Amara. My, my friend. The girl I told you about. I see. You're welcome, daughter. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> you must have an eye for a very pretty girl. Thank you, Dad. I think he goes to the family. That I must be very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, my daughter, you are the only girl that my son has had to introduce to me in such detail. I hope you also find it interesting. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, educator Sahid to bring the luggage from the car. Okay, Daddy. Have a good time. Thank you, sir. to feel. Today is my 732nd day, 104 weeks and 24 months in this house. Making it two years. Two years under your father's roof. Listen, Nina, I understand everything. Oh, please, but you see... just hear me out. I have been in this state watching you fraternize with other women. I have been waiting for the finish line. For you to come back into my arms once again. But you've grown complacent about it all. Listen, sweetheart, listen, listen. I have not grown any complacent about anything. I understand your patience. I understand it, but you still have to endure more, okay? Listen, I beg of you, okay? 
like you. You have to understand the situation here. We are not God. That's not the problem. The problem is your father. He doesn't show any sign of dying. Oh Is wrong. Oh, no, come on, don't say that, honey. Don't say that. Please, don't say that. Again. We are not called. We, we can't kill him. Oh, are you suggesting we kill my father? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I'm not receiving the church all this while. What's happened? Pastor, I've been busy lately with my office job. That's why. So what of your mother and your father? They're all fine, Pastor. Yes. That boy you introduced to me the other day. You intend to marry him, don't you? Yes, Pastor, I do. I love AGK very much. Then, be very, very serious. In fact, um, I do not like what I saw about him last night. Please tell me, Pastor, what is it? Is anything wrong with you? Sister Amal, be careful. Be very, very careful. Remember the Bible says in the book of John 10, verse 10, the devil came to kill to steal, to destroy. And that devil is sowing the seed of death in that family. I advise you, please, pray very, very seriously before you take a decision. It's about time you got married. Have you given it a serious thought? Yes, Dad. And um, no doubt the obvious choice is uh, Amala. Well, <laughs> yes, Daddy. Good. Have you proposed to her yet? Um, not quite, Daddy. Why don't you propose to her? If she's agreeable, we'll go and meet her parents so we can start things off. Alright, then. Well, that's precisely why I sent for you. Okay, sir. I have to rush to the mechanics. It's alright. And um, don't forget to pick the spare tire along the way. Yes, Daddy. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Talk to me. What is it? Come on, what is it? Chica, I told you that's what the pastor told me. I I'm so scared. It's all right. It's all right. You can be careful, okay? You don't have to be scared. You're not. You're not being careful. I I I'm so worried. You have to be very careful. Sudan is okay. I'm being careful, okay? You're not, and, I and I'm so worried. It wasn't matters. You don't even pray. Promise me one thing, dear. Yes, what is it? Promise me you'll be more prayerful. 
to that. Okay, okay. I promise you, my love, I'll be more prayerful, okay? I'll pray every morning and every night. Okay. Come on. Put a smile on that face. <laughs> it's okay. Get too worried over nothing. You know what? I'm going to take care of today. Okay, I'm going to spoil you a little. <laughs> um, so that uh, I'll see smiles on this face so you know what you can see. So it is finally through. Chief Araka will not die. My God. How could I allow these people to convince me to take part in this crazy scheme? Now, EJK is preparing for marriage. My God, I can't live without him. I have no choice now except to play my last card. What else can I do except to poison this man? Oh God, I just have to. I just have to. My heart feels the pain. What happened? How are you feeling now? Much better. Good. Good. Okay. Thank you for what happened. What happened? Hi. Thank you. I don't know the place was so close. Yeah, it is uh, very, very close. I'm very hungry. Um, let me get you along to eat. Please. It was a very successful familiarization trip. Yes, you can say it again, son. Yes. <laughs> Your wise people are very friendly people. Yes, they are very nice people. My daddy. Mm, they're very hospitable and uh, they cook very well. <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> yes, even though I, I didn't want them to know that I eat a lot. I, does, it, does it better than the ones I cook at home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's better than the ones I cook at home. Is there Can we go now? Uh, what are we having for lunch? Um, uh, white rice with chicken. Daddy, remember we came back with uh, Nsala and Pandaria from my wife's people's place. Yes, you are right. I thought we said we'll keep that for supper. Uh, no, Dad, I, I suggest that we eat the Nsala before the Pandaria goes bad. No Pandaria. Uh, yeah, I think that's a brilliant idea. Um, is it? Yeah. Please uh, go inside the car and get the food, okay? Yeah. Um, you know. We'll eat the rice later. Oh, okay, dear. It's all right. Don't worry. We'll eat it later. Please. Beware of the people around you, around you, because you don't know who is who. Please. Please, that's how it has to be. Please. But what is wrong with you? Please, I don't want to hear anything. Please. I've decided, I've decided. Please. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? You have come to make that girl's life very miserable. How can you prevent a woman from feeding her own husband? When she cooks, you watch over her in the kitchen. Do you know the level of distress that shows? Auntie, I have the right to supervise what my father consumes, and nobody will change my mind. He's my father. If he has to die, he has to die a natural death. Period. It's what are you insinuating? I am safeguarding that man's life. That is all I've set out to do. And nobody will change my mind. He's my father. I decide what he eats. Please. Are you telling me that Carolina will poison your father? Will she? You can never know with women. She will never do a thing like that. I have decided. Period. Beware of the people around you. Around you. 
Is all that matters. Mine has been discarded and thrown away. Ajika, you have sacrificed my love on the altar of convenience. You have made me to to believe and. An illusion, a mirage that was that was never going to belong to me. Please. But let me make one thing clear to you. I will never and cannot live without you. Lena. No, no, no. Don't see things in that manner, please. Don't see things in that way. Honestly, it never crossed my mind that we will not be together. God knows from the depth of my heart, having you would have made my life complete. But Lena, what can we do now? I can't have his death on my conscience. Was he ever meant to die? Yes. That was what the doctor told me. If he wasn't meant to die, we would have put ourselves in this place in the first place. It's okay. Much as I love you, I finally accept that I'm I've lost you. No, Lina. Don't say that. <laughs> Lina, don't say that. Lina, please. Lina, I love you so much. No, you don't. Please, I do. <laughs> Lina, please. I beg you. Lina, please, I beg you. Find it in your heart. Look into my eyes and tell me what you see. You can see the tears in me flowing like a river. Remember the love I shared together, oh my baby. If you gamble with my life, you can never. Okay, uh, 
I'm coming, let me get something. and we are stumbling over practically everything. I mean, I hope it's not a bad woman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't understand this. I, I can't understand this. Look at the beautiful food that I just been cooked for me. Wasted. Yourself. 
Ego Ibo is very right. Please, my brother, pull yourself together. After all, we shall all die someday. Eh? Pull yourself together. We are from police headquarters. Um, Inspector Okeke. We are looking for Chief Farad. Chief. Yes. You contacted the police about the suicide, did you? Yes. Can we see the body then? Yes, you can. For you, you wouldn't come, eh? Ah, Mama, it's not what you think. Ever since AGK was taken into police custody, I've been very busy. Hey! Only 
God knows what you're still doing in that ritual killer's house. He has killed two wives. Amala, do you want to be the next? Or do you think that all you need to do is to sit down and be eating and eating and eating their bloody money? Mama, Chief Araka is not a ritual killer. Hey, Amala, come back home now. Eh? In fact, I shall have to discuss this matter with your father. I think I'm tired. I'm tired though. Huh. We have already heard your explanations. And we have already heard yours, Nzelkoye. From what you have told us and what we have learnt independently, the accusing finger points more at AJK than you, his father. That is why we are not making this matter more serious than it already is. But one thing is clear. We shall continue to look into this matter at length and in depth. The fact that I've agreed for my young men to bring down the body of my daughter does not mean that my suspicions about the Araka's involvement in her death has been cleared. No, not even one bit. On the contrary, my major reason of taking custody of the body is to confirm that all our body parts are intact. Yes. Death and only that can clear the Araka family to a considerable extent. Um. Okay, okay. I've heard you. I've heard all of you. We have a proverb that says that if you find a fresh carcass of a dog every morning under a particular tree, then there is something in that tree that kills dogs. Oh, yes. Within a space of three years, I have buried two wives. It is only natural that the finger of suspicion point at me. Why should I remain alive and my wives die? I am also aware of the malice being generated by rumors in circulation that I am responsible for the deaths of both wives. All I can say is that I did not. I am aware of the action you intend to take. I can like endorse it entirely because in your shoes, I would have done the same. We have been in-laws. We have enjoyed cordial relationship for a very long time as in-laws. I want to suggest that we tread warily on this issue. So we do not make mistakes that are likely to jeopardize our relationship permanently. I thank all of you. We'll hurt each other for one reason or the other. 
I marry a second wife. Now she commits suicide. Why has death stalked me so pitilessly? In taking her own life, kindly indicted by some. Have I been a fool? Is it possible that my son was carrying on with my wife? Behind me, could he have been carrying on with my wife under my roof? Could he? Could he? Could he? It's not my fault, Izadi, that I stopped visiting AGK. Is it that my mother threatening to tell my father, or my father threatening to disown me if I dare visit him? Hmm. Amala, these are your parents. I mean, what have they at stake? Look, AGK is your husband. This is when he needs you. That's very true, Izadi. You've really made a point here. Yes, of course. My mother is back. Welcome, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Good afternoon, Mama. Mama, you remember Izadi? How can I forget the best friend of your infamous husband? Welcome, Mama. Thank you. Um, why are you here? Uh, Mama, I just came to visit Amala. Mm. Anyway, thanks for the visit, eh? But I guess you have to leave before her father comes back. Huh? Okay, ma. Please, Amara. Please take care. Everything okay. will be alright. Bye. Thank you very much. How could you be so impolite to visit her? Amala, just thank your stars that I was the one who came back instead of your father. If it were him, it would have been a different story then.
He's the king of the city. Thank you. 
to you for marriage, but you choose to strangle me. Why would I strangle my own wife? Why? What has she done to me? Araki. You've wasted my daughter like you did your first wife. But I'm assuring you, you will not get away with it. Move this car. Move this car. I had no idea that things were no longer in order in your family. That certain things were no longer what they should be? Certainly not. Not even a hint? No. Chief Araka, I seem to recall that you came by earlier today to look for your son. Am I right? Yes, you're right. The police station, yeah. I happened to overhear a particular question you asked your son concerning broken place and spilled food. Don't you think that is an indication that certain things were no longer what they should be? No, I don't think so. What I asked my son was merely a routine domestic question about what obtains in the home. Um, there was no indication whatsoever that the question concerned uh, a broken down situation. There was nothing like that. Um, as I told you earlier on, there was no indication whatsoever that It's all right, Chief. So, uh, I'll have to take my leave. They transferred the educate to another location that they wouldn't disclose to anybody. I'm taking my husband too. Alright, please do something, Chief. Take her to the car. Let me get my. Okay, Chief. 
Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Inspector, from the look of things, you started to backpedal. Hmm? Chief, it is only a foolish man that does not know when to backpedal so that he can live to fight another day. What is it supposed to mean? Chief, I do not want you to have further problems with Chief Araka. He's a federal man. His influence is frightening. Although I know that what you want to find out is how your daughter fed within her, her caste family. No, that's just it. No, no, no less. So why don't you seek the information traditional? But I have given Araka the traditional option. He doesn't want to accept it. So what does it involve? All it involves is for his son to swear to the Igbo of the oath. If he's innocent, nothing will happen. But if he's not, then he will begin to confess and die. So what man do you think would accept that kind of option? Well, that's the only option open in this matter. For your information, I and my caseman have agreed on that. The decision is irrevocable. It's all right, Chief. I shall try to convince Chief Araka to accept the traditional option so that we can get to the truth. That's his choice. I expect you to do your best. Leave no stone on top. If you wear my shoes, you'll be the same. Bye bye. Goodbye. Elders of our people, I greet you. No. Uh, the reason we are gathered at my in-laws' house this afternoon is very obvious. Our elders say that laughter does not propel any man to the ground. Whoever chooses to fall in his own form of laughter does so of his own free will. We have gathered here and to do what we want to do here this afternoon of our own free will. <clears throat> the situation, however, is a difficult one for us. Our in-laws, mm. you gave your daughter to us as a wife. And that is very natural and traditional. However, the next thing we had was that she hanged herself. That was why I said the situation is a difficult one for all of us. Our gathering here this afternoon is to find a solution to this problem. And I believe that uh, the cooperation of all of us will give us that solution. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. <coughs> my in-laws, my kinsmen, after rain comes sunshine. On our Baba is saying, "Get the cooling get more." Oh, go on. Today is a major step towards improving the relationship between the two families. But whatever happens here today, we can still meet elsewhere and greet each other very well as in-laws. So, without further delay, let us commence. Okay. I thank you. Thank you. Thank no. You. Thank you. No. Thank you. 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 I know how you feel. I wish you could look into my heart and see how I feel as well. I have buried two wives. I sincerely do not know what I have done to deserve this. 
I have tried to be a good person. I don't know whether it is as a result of what my forefathers must have done. I don't know. I will welcome any solution to the mystery of my wife's death. Look at my son. The only company I have in my life was released from the police station only this morning to be part of this occasion because we all want to find the solution to this problem. I thank all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My elders, I greet you all. Please, I crave your indulgence to speak. You see, I was approached in my house yesterday evening by somebody very important. In fact, the importance of this person with regard to the unraveling of the mystery before us is invaluable. My elders, please, I beg that you give this person the opportunity to speak before we continue. Where is this? Where is this? Is this not the small girl who lives with Doris? Yes, she is. My daughter, talk to us. Yes, Papa. It's us that right when I, I, I and my auntie are in the house. Carolina, leave my house. Get out of my house! Please, please, I'm begging you, please. Begging me for what? And if I ever see you near my nephew's house again, the way I used came to chase you the other day would be a little thing. By that time, you will know the kind of person I am. You want to marry him, I don't want to play boss with you. Idiot. I'm ready to do whatever you say. Leave my house. And please don't do this to me. <laughs> you don't want to cooperate with me. And to please I yourself. You cannot have free access to HK. I should strike a deal with me. I own him. And I've been telling you that you don't want to understand. You pretend not to understand. And to please. I can't afford to lose him. I can't. Listen very carefully. Here is a proposal. And if you ever tell HK about it or anyone else. I shall completely deny you because I am going to convince him that you are lying. I know that he's that will leave you. Yes. Don't you love AGK? Yes. Yes, I can afford to lose him. Are you ready to do anything to keep him? <laughs> you will have him as long as you agree with me. AGK will not marry anyone else but you. But you must agree with what I have said. Did you hear me now? <laughs> Very well. Here is the deal. I want to use you to funnel some of Akaraka's money into my own account. Do not be afraid. I'll protect you, okay? No. No, no so please, no, right. no. Let us accept it, that you have lost EGK. No, no, I can't, I can't, please. I to give me what you want. And don't ever think of playing a fast one on me. If you do, I'll manipulate that boy and his father. The next second, you are out. Whenever playing a trick crosses your mind, remember that magic word, the force. Yes. You hear me? Yes. It will help you strengthen your thoughts. Yes. And you can leave. <laughs> Thank <Go>. you. <laughs> Good day, sir. Good day, dear. We're just about to start from here. Welcome. Thank you. Have you considered my proposition? Madam, it is impossible. Doctor, make it possible. Tell that boy that his father is going to die in two years. And get some test results to show that. Or else, 
some accounts of your illegal medical practices will find their way to the press. Madam. Don't madam me. Do what I have said or face the consequences. That was the first time my son's calling me in our house. You're lying. You were. Boris! You, you! Shut up! You sit down there! I'm in here, madam. Don't push that down! Don't push that down. I'm in here. You are doing well, my child. How many other times did you see our daughter in your house? So many times. On, on how many occasions were you present? When issues concerning this matter were discussed? Three times, sir. I can't remember. Eh? Wonder shall never end. Please, can you tell us the three times you can remember? One day, I went to the market with my auntie. We stopped at Papa Ejike's house. Jesus Christ! Wonder shall never end. Chief, I hope you have seriously considered the suggestion I made to you the other day. Uh, the one about uh, AGK choosing a wife for me. Exactly. Uh, well, I have thought about it. And now I want you to consider the advantages involved in the arrangement. Uh, especially as you said that it's AGK himself who stands to benefit from it. But uh, I must say, I, uh, uh, I find it a very uncomfortable idea. No, Chief, you can see it's a good one. If AGK makes the choice, there will be no problems. Because he will be the one to spend more time with her at home, since you're not always around. Well, that's very sound reasoning on your part, very logical. Uh, but you see, there's a smack there. No. How can a father ask his son, choose a wife for me? That's, that's preposterous. It's bizarre. Okay. No, Chief, there's no wrong about that. How can I defend that? No, don't look at it that way. Uh, no, because if you, you plan to marry from this locality, yes. I doubt if you know any of the young girls around. No. AGK is the one that is very much familiar with the good girls. And every family has its own particular problems. And they act in accordance with their problems. And we cannot be caged to conventions. There is nothing overtly wrong or strange in a son choosing a wife for the father. Uh, you and AGK are uh, very, very, very close. For that to comfortably happen. I don't see anything wrong in that. Boris, I go along with the idea that uh, I don't stay around most of the time. And almost an unusual experiment. If I decide, education stands to benefit from any such arrangement. Yeah. Uh, but I. I don't know, but I, I, it's, it's, a, it's an experiment I, I'm not quite sure I can perform very easily, I don't know. No, if you cannot do it, if you find it very awkward, I'll go ahead and do it myself. Uh, well, no, no, I mean, if, if I've made up my mind that I should perform that experiment, I'll be the one to tell it myself. I look up my mind and I think we can try it out. Then uh, I will tell him that uh, <laughs> I <laughs> Doris! 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 
Echike is getting married in three days time to that girl. Just calm down, talk to me. Calm down, Carolina. Calm down. Echi, please. I can't afford to lose him. I can't afford. He's father still alive. Shut up before someone overhears you. Just calm down, talk to me. Let me get your point straight. Echike is getting married to Amara in three days time, eh? Yes. I can understand the agitation. But he said, I would have loved to talk to you. I'm already late for work. Eh? Why don't you come some other time? Auntie, Auntie, please, you can't do this to me. You know I can't afford to lose HGK, please. Just help me. His father doesn't show any sign of dying. Carolina, events don't always work out the way they are planned. And that is why you have space for a plan B. You want HGK, you want to get married to HGK. Why don't you let Araka die? Why don't you poison him? Auntie, no, no, I can't do it. No, a little arsenic in his rice, coffee or something and it just automatically becomes yours. All yours. I can't do it. I can't do that. I can't. Oh, Alright. Why don't you see me a day after tomorrow? And I have some good news for you. Please help me. You know I can afford to I can afford to lose a chicken. Please help me. I beg you in the name of God. Help me. Everything will be alright, eh? Okay? <laughs> Doctor, you have to invite him to your office today on a pretext and inject him. Madam, that I will not do. Doctor, you will do it. No, I will not do it. You will do it? Otherwise, Mother, even the threat of an expose of my illegal activities cannot make me kill any patient of mine, much less Tibaraka. Please come in my room. I will not do it. Listen to me, doctor. Listen to me, doctor. It wouldn't take much to deal with the chip. Just a little overdose. Why don't you do it by yourself? Why not? Are you not a midwife? Look, Doris, this is really getting too much. It is one thing to tell me to forspire a medical report that the man will die in two years and to inform the man's son of this falsehood. I want another to tell me to kill that man. No, I won't. It's against my medical ethics. Shut up! Shut up your mouth! My brother, I was You have done well, my child. Your account to us has helped us to understand. And Auntie Doris, why? Auntie Doris, why? She ruined my life. Carolina's mother ruined me. Her grandma, the daughter of the woman that took away the only man I ever loved. To get the man she loved. There is a Carolina's mother. Snatched her sent from me. I couldn't have allowed that. I wanted to pay her back in her mother's own coin. He hasn't loved me. But there is a poison in his mind against me. Miss mm -hmm. Carolina's mother. Uh. He dumped me and married her. And the day I met the girl, she told me who she was. I said I was going to pay her back. To 
look at me. I couldn't love another man because of what we shared. Hey. Please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. And you can't sorry. But I how could me. my daughter die? I didn't know she was going to die. Why should she die from what she did not know about? I didn't know she was going to die. Please forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did it for love. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Let us take her to the police station. Oh my god! My daughter. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Sometimes I sit and wonder why people hurt each other for one reason or the other. People do all kinds of things, but a So this is all you went through so that we can spend our entire life together. With each passing revelation, I continue to understand that what we had for each other was the ordinary love. But you didn't have to be part of you. You don't have to deprive me of your enduring princess and devotion. God. You loved me to your last breath. Your love for me has depth more than I can even begin to fathom. has vindicated me from the shackles of my private affair with Caroline. Please, I beg you to forgive me.
become so green and deceit People do all kinds of things Sometimes because of revenge 